number one. Then I'm breaking the rule, Wayne. Relax. Track 10 and 11, um, Breathe and then You Deserve It, are really intended to be listened to together because that's exactly the way they happen on the stage. And we've preserved it in the recording exactly as it happens on stage. So Breathe really is its a bit of a montage. It's something that we did new when we moved the show to Broadway. We really wanted to learn more about the guys, but not just sort of stand there and tell you about their backstory. These guys are musicians, and Rob and I are both musicians. We've spent most of our careers playing in, in, in pits and bands and orchestras, and we wanted to capture that sense of like how musicians kind of fight and tussle with each other a little bit. Well, we give each other a hard time, but that's what you're supposed to do. That's how you very much actually like vets. You <laughs> you push the limits you a little bit. You see where, where the envelope is. Right. Yeah, and, and you learn about their musicianship, you learn about their personalities and the way they rehearse. So it's really a montage of them rehearsing, which is really, really great. Um, and uh, Andy was very... There's a the cool thing to listen to. There's a, there's a moment where the guys go, the noise in my head goes away, and the bottom sort of drops out of the orchestration. Andy was very specific about that, because that wasn't exactly how we wrote it originally. It just sort of kept moving. He was like, no, you have to have this space. And uh, it's, it's literally a one-bar thing, but I, we must have talked for two weeks about how to get that exactly right. And this number, Breathe, actually slams right into the band again, performing at one of the clubs. And again, Andy's staging is just incredible how he transforms in real time this rehearsal space in one of their apartments straight into, into the club. Straight into the club. And it's really the first big time that you see the, the swing dancing like in all of its athletic glory. Yeah, and it's also the first time that you hear, and you can hear this on the album, yeah the Donnie Nova band playing at the same time and meshing yeah. with the full 13-piece pit orchestra. Yeah, and the way that they've mastered it on that album is really go Greg and go Mike because it, you really hear that distinction. Um, the other thing that's very interesting is the lyric itself, this You Deserve It issue. Because once again we're writing this, the lyric is being written as if our lead character had written these lyrics um, for a contest for a contest song right. so he has an agenda again it's it, it's something he wants to be snappy and fun and for kicks and to kind of capture the public's imagination but he doesn't want it to have a lot of depth he doesn't want it to and it turns out not to actually be that good and that's the other thing it's like another one of the songs that he tries out and it doesn't make the cut in fact one of the characters right after in the, the scene he's like you Dude. really think this is a winner? Yeah, this is a, a winner. So it's a tricky thing because it's a showpiece song, and it's a, it's a song and a sequence that works really well outside the show to show off the show, but it's a weird song because it doesn't push the plot forward, um, but it sure is a fun listen. But the other thing that's interesting, in the middle of the song, in the middle of the dance thing, the bottom drops out, and it goes to a reprise of Breathe. Which does push the plot which forward. Which does push the plot forward. And Andy argued with us for months and months he won he begged us to open up the tune and let him put this this reprise in and we didn't think it would work because we were like but you're in real time why would you go into this not real time slow-mo thing and he was like just let me try it so we let him try it once like thinking this will never work and it's, we were instantly so oh man we were incredible. so wrong we were so <laughs> wrong and you hear it on the album it's so moving um, and, and Greg in the orchestration you hear this huge gong in the bottom just open up and it turns the whole stage into slow motion so all of Andy's choreography goes into slow motion and the lights change it's one of those things you kind of have to see live but when you hear it on the album you definitely feel like the world changes and you go into the heads of the guys who are playing these instruments and then it snaps out of that back into real time and you've got the trumpet player going up to this high, high note, this screaming high note and that's what snaps everything back into real time. It's, it's really thrilling and it's perfectly preserved on the album.